Hello, hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here and I'm back to you with an interesting project today, a different kind of video. How many of you remember this project, Just Breathe? It's a mixed media art journaling where I have been practicing some textures and colors and playing with magicals and just really having fun and enjoying the process. I really love this project. Tons of you have seen it and actually if you have it would be amazing if you could let me know that you watched this video that you actually maybe came to this channel because of this video because it was a very popular one and really there's so much happening there that I think recreating this will be very interesting to see these days. What I would do uh, these days what I would use, how I would uh, go about all of it. Uh, many things changed since four years I'm pretty sure and it would be amazing to see how I'm gonna do it this time. Uh, I'm really excited and I hope you too. I didn't play for uh, ma with magicals for a very long time so I think it would be just amazing to try and have fun play around like this so I invite you to stay tuned and watch my new tutorial, my new take on magical backgrounds. Where do we begin? We need to decide for our papers what kind of surface we're gonna use for our magical project. I'm gonna use watercolor paper and as far as I remember I have done exactly the same thing last time but a different brand paper. This time I'm gonna be using Arteza 32 sheets watercolor pad and this one is very nice and thick because it's 300 grams and I think those are coming in sets of two. So this is our base and why do I choose watercolor back, uh, papers? Well simply because hopefully our water, pigment, everything will gonna be running nicely smoothly in between the grooves of our stencils. Choice number two we need to decide for our stencils. To have it similar to what I've used that time I have three stencils to choose from or we could use them all. These are my two uh, older selection collection stencils and this is one of the newest one and I think we can how do you like it? Maybe we can just mix them all somehow? I don't know. And I'm gonna go for white gesso, thick white gesso from 13 Arts. I highly recommend it to you because I truly truly like that gesso. Okay, so we're gonna create texture, pe uh, texture first. Oopsie! And I'm gonna start with... Why don't you come back to me? <laughs> and I'm gonna start with this stencil first, maybe somewhere like that. Mm -hmm. Now if you don't have thick gesso that's perfectly fine. You can use modeling paste, texture paste, 3D paste, any sort of something that is thick enough to allow you to play around with your texture and your stencils. So, oops! <laughs> That was... So I'm gonna redo that and I'm gonna lay it down. I, I wanted it to be quick but it didn't look good. So I'm gonna redo that actually and then lift it up. Much better. I'm gonna take this aside here on my coffee mug <laughs> and then... Yeah, I just took too much gesso but that's okay. Mm -hmm. How about if I'm gonna go for something like that. These are my favorite of all stencils I have to say when it comes to texture building and really nice effects. Well I hope anyway that we're gonna have some nice effects. I didn't play for... I touched stencil on top of that so this would be closer which is fine even if something is touched like. Um, I didn't play with any sort of magicals and you know, them kind of powders for ages and I really think it would be amazing to do it. So absolutely. Let's grab this stencil and see if we can actually join in all of that or somewhere, somewhat. <laughs> Maybe I need a little bit more of that paste. Now, oops, I'm gonna leave this to dry naturally and I'm gonna do my other things that I need to do at home and come back to you with the video shortly today. 
but that's how I'm gonna use my time instead of <laughs> drying it and trying to stand with the heat tool I'm just gonna leave it and come back to you when it's dry and in the meantime I can do some dinner <laughs> I think I don't have enough paste here indeed indeed this magical backgrounds video I'm gonna give a link as well so you can have a look in case you haven't seen it uh, but yes it's a very nice video good really good techniques used so I hope we can enjoy it uh, this time as well so let's leave this to dry and I'm gonna be back to you in a second I'm back to you after a good few hours because there was just no time really and I felt okay let's just move it to evening time and that's fine now I do have magicals here which are in the small jars and I have some 13 arts rainbow color really those pigments uh, you can get uh, Oliver is that his name uh, some pigments you can get uh, pigments like that in uh, brochures all kinds of brands is making pigments like this so really guys it's up to yourself which one which brand which price which type you're gonna go for there are infusions I have never tried those I would love to try infusions so really it's up to yourself which are we gonna go for now hmm I'm thinking maybe this bluish looks nice how about if we jump in with the green with it from this brand and we're gonna mix it shall we not uh, how about this green as well could be interesting and and hmm hmm maybe some yellow no uh, that's interesting color I wonder what color that is actually mm, isn't it um, <laughs> brown bronze sepia to this one that could be nice okay just let's see and we can always change our mind now um, magicals are maybe these are old ones maybe the new ones are coming in different packaging it's very much possible uh, I haven't <laughs> purchased the new ones so I'm not too sure there are also uh, those in like shakers so possibly these were this this is the last time I was playing with those but I cannot find them in the studio so that's why we have this <laughs> we have what we have let's use what we have and that's it I'm gonna get some small brush if I can find it so that brush oh maybe this one may help me to so that's the green that's the brown that's the blue oh <gasps> that's a lot okay Marta that is a lot like okay then we have the green in place oopsie <clears throat> Then we have this green from 13 Arts, interesting. And let's try this brownish sepia color. It's gonna be really interesting to see all of that, where this is gonna go. Now I should have, <laughs> that's okay, I should have just take away my my paper from the whole, from, oopsie, from the whole piece of pad but that's okay now oh, there we go that's the magic guys ah, this is the magic that we all love about magicals and pigments like this and you can see that all these tiny teensy teensy tiny um wow <coughs> I love it now by looking at it we will move it still even more but by looking at it how about if I'm gonna go for maybe some touch of like this green here maybe why not mm-hmm let's see <laughs> my water doesn't want to go that's okay but then I'm thinking hmm Marta, something else, something else, something else. How about purple like this? Let's just go crazy a little bit. Oh yes. Ah, 
the water. I don't know why is this not sprinkling properly. Oh, now better. We definitely need more and more water. Look at that. So we are be we are gonna be moving the pigment right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. So as it is, isn't it? Let me just see if I have a better spray. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so I'm trying to move it even better now. Wow. This is the magic <laughs> that happens. This is the magic that we all fell in love with when we were playing with Magicals years back. Wow. Let's try that now. Back to you. Look at this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful background. It's nearly dry, but look at my hands. I totally forgot how pigmented Magicals are and all those pigments uh, that react with water. These are highly pigmented. I was thinking that I'm tempted to add a little bit more color, maybe a little teensy, teensy something else. Let's see how is that. Oh, look at that beautiful pink. Beautiful pinkish touch. Just a little bit, look guys, just a little bit. Isn't it? Just, just a touch. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. Just a touch of color here and there. And that purple back again. <clears throat> I think it would be lovely to just add a little bit more of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is gorgeous. <clears throat> It's a nice mixture of pink and purples actually in here. I love that. Now where is our top? Where is our, ba um, our bottom? I think maybe even like this would be nice. So a touch of pink here. Just a touch. <laughs> Just a touch. And even darker in there. Oh. I love it. Which green we have used? I kind of miss the tealish color, so maybe I can grab this one and still add some touches of teal in places. Now, I have to say Magicals are special, very nice product to work with. You never know what kind of effect you're gonna achieve which is the beauty of itself because <laughs> you never know. I'm looking to have those teal but not so much. It's very much uh, actually what's the word? Um, it's very much uh, metallic shimmer so not exactly but oh wow and honestly adding pink and purples and making it this part dark and here something it's it's actually looking to me like ocean do you see the ocean i really do see that or maybe galaxy it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so let's let's <laughs> dry that because i think we can call this kind of coloring part finished mm, as i'm drying right now with the heat you can actually ma maneuver it with water obviously you need bigger heat to move it, but that's uh, just something for you to as well experiment with, moving the waters in between the grooves with the color. My page is dry, the colors are not as bright, as intense as when they were wet, it's always different when it dries. Time to do some stamping and I'm going to use my recent stamps, which are some circles. There we go, we have them here. So which one we're gonna go for? Let's start from the biggest one, which is here, the biggest stamp. <clears throat> okay, okay. Then maybe next to it something else, like maybe, hmm, maybe like this one. So let's see. It's really more for the <clears throat> um, outlines more than anything because we will be coloring it anyway. If you don't have stamps, of course you can use some lids maybe. And those would be great. Lids, lids, lids. 
I think my ink pad isn't the greatest one, that's okay. Now, where do we begin? Let's see here. Okay, <clears throat> nice. <laughs> Let's get some other stamp, other circle. How about this one and maybe the thicker one, this one as well. There you go. You can get some stamps and you know, all some circles, make some circles and then you can always change your mind and say, oh I need some more here or oh I don't need it anymore. So we can always change it. I'm not too sure which direction I'm gonna go for but <clears throat> Definitely some kind of bubblish look. I like that the most. But I'm gonna get some bigger something. I have this transparent lead, lead lid from Pringles, I think. So I may just try to use that <laughs> and see if I can have some kind of outline happening. <clears throat> Maybe actually here. Yay! Awesome! And something middle size, a little bit smaller, but bigger than... smaller than that, but bigger <laughs> than this. Okay, we have another lid. <laughs> keep your lids, guys! Keep your lids! Hmm. Oh, this one didn't really stamp much, but that's because we have lots of texture as well. So that's normal, that it just didn't touch everywhere but that's fine okay we have the this but I feel still we need we could we could do some more stamping um, <clears throat> hmm. I don't know I don't know I don't know maybe here actually and the tiny one maybe like here Maybe here and maybe somewhere there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Wait, maybe one more. <clears throat> no, not this size. Oh well, I can stick, stick, still. Mm -hmm. and I'm thinking something else. I found another size <laughs> this one is cover from Hannah's baby food thing okay it's also it may be also difficult to that's okay we'll try it here okay let's try it again it's okay nearly Oh, that's better. So one more. Maybe this time. There we go. Okay, let's color it in. So we need some white color, which I have been using gesso, and I think I'm going to do the same thing. I think I've used gesso that time. Now, you must remember that um, what will happen now is that our gesso, since it's water-based pigment thing, it will react, I'm looking for some good brush, something interesting of oh, this one. It will react, our gesso will react with our background because our background, background is not permanent. So our gesso also is water based, so yes, we will get it. So what we will do is now, what I have, I didn't wa watch my own video in full. Um, so what I will do now is I'm gonna just gently start applying f layer number one so now at this point I'm just gonna add layer number one and this will help me to build the whiteness because obviously one layer is not enough you can use your fingers if you prefer <clears throat> you see it's already bluish that's why I'm not dipping directly in my 
directly in my jar, but here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Now also, <laughs> look, we have circles, but if your circles are a little bit less circleish, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, you know? That's okay. We will be coloring things later on as well. <clears throat> okay. There we go. The other video was recorded and there was no voice over. There was nothing, no written, no chats. So really it's only the, watching the process. So I, I don't remember myself four years ago everything. And I, as I said I haven't watched it but I know that I've used some white pigment which I believe was gesso or white acrylic. So white gesso or white acrylic would do just fine. <clears throat> mm. Yummy, yummy, <clears throat> excuse me, yummy, yummy, it starts looking very yummy, isn't it? There we go, I really encourage you to try it. And if you don't have magicals um, or pigment like that, you can definitely use your watercolors in exactly the same way as I have used the pigment. So. Just get your watercolors pigment, sprinkle a lot of water on top of your color and then sp put some color on your page and then sprinkle with water and pigment, watercolor pigment will start moving and mixing up so definitely try it out. Nice! Nicey nice! <laughs> Nicey nice! <clears throat> mm -hmm. Actually it's adding this t color which is lovely that we have, you know, a bit of a color happening here as well, so that's great. <clears throat> it's funny that I don't watch my own videos. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just don't. I just don't. Even this, I just skipped quickly. I don't know why. Maybe in this moment I also don't want to be too much influenced by my own old project because it would be great to be in somehow original and try to build an interesting new page, you know, a, a little bit different to the first one. So I hope I'm achieving that. <laughs> Although I cannot now remember what I was fully doing and even color wise. I think I'm similar with the greens. <coughs> But I cannot fully tell you. <laughs> we will outline our circles. I think the finishing touches and things are going to be different in this page than my first. Because I am kind of doing things differently these days and I wish to use that probably. I think. But I could be wrong. We're still in the early stages of painting and thinking out loud about it. So... I love it, love it, love it so much. Love it so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I'm trying coloring, trying coloring it in inside those little and bigger circles. With the small ones, not so easy with this brush. Indeed, that's okay. <clears throat> now... Tick, 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 tick. I have to tell you, today is not my day. I just feel so bad -ish. Heavy and strange, I don't know. I think I should start being better about my food recently. I'm so bad with all the sweets and I think it's just killing my energy altogether. So hopefully back on some good <laughs> active lifestyle and healthy food back again and c cut the crap food. You see after I stopped breastfeeding because I have been so very limited with what I was eating I've missed so many things all those two years. 
that I just couldn't stop once I started eating <laughs> all the foods, crappy foods really. I just couldn't stop it, you know, because it was just so awesome to eat everything I missed for so long. And drinking as well a little bit, you know, this or that and trying. I forgot how things taste, <laughs> you know, so that's nice. But yeah, I feel that I am just not feeling great, so I think I, I think I'd be back to kind of healthier way of feelings, and I kind of enjoyed my few weeks of freedom and eating whatever I like. <laughs> but I think it's time to <laughs> be back to good things and just healthy things. So that's what I am thinking. That's what I need. It's not even thinking, it's what I need. My body tells me this. My body says it, my body says it to me. So time for it. So sometimes I think I'm already going with the second layer, but I cannot fully tell you. Because after a moment it's kind of blend in with that white. So I'm not too sure. But anyway. Yeah, I think I managed to add all these beautiful circles. Oh wow. I just love, love, love it so much already. It's simply amazing. It really is simply amazing. Mm -hmm. It really is. I wanted to recreate this project for so long, but I keep on forgetting. And it's not even forgetting guys. I have so many gorgeous, amazing, fantastic, great ideas to share with you. I just don't have time to record them all and I'm just choosing between this and that, this and that. Um, and today, um, today's project was inspired by my friend Shona. She's on YouTube herself and she was recently doing a live show and she has been using some magicals in a different containers that's why I'm saying that I think <laughs> oh, I have my one from old days she has the newer versions of shakers and magicals and things which I don't but that's okay I'm okay with that using my oldie stash use what you have guys that's the motto for today's for this year I think a lot of that buy new stuff of course why not? There's so many gorgeous things, but you go back to your oldies as well. Use your oldie things, older things, you know. There we go. Nice. So our bubble. Bubbles are starting to be bubbles. More white and all. I love it. And this texture is standing out so nicely as well now. I hope you can see it well. Now we need to kind of go with this bubblish. Bubblicious. I think I'm gonna pause the video because I'm a little bit thirsty. So mm -hmm. I like that I managed to keep those three bubbles looking that they are actual three separate bubbles. Maybe not the prettiest, but at least <laughs> at least they are three separate livings. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm doing, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it reminded me of some comments saying that you enjoy what I'm saying. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> that my hmm, hmm uh, is kind of interesting to some of you <laughs> that you like it and enjoy it. Oh well, I do too. <laughs> so I, I'm not surprised. Okay, guys, I like that. Let's try this. Here it is, page dryish. Let's just add now more of a highlight on one side so let's do that this kind of part is more white <laughs> not too sure if it's gonna work but at least I'm gonna try to add 
more of a white on one side and then darker we're gonna do shadowing darker on on the other side a little bit so and that if you heard this movement this noise that's the hobby <laughs> oh, closing the door <clears throat> hi hobby <laughs> quiet knock he's there <clears throat> so this is what we have now and I really 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 love it awesome now let's move on to a little bit of shading what I would do now is get my pencil these are charcoal no graphite sorry graphite pencils and I'm thinking to go just a little bit like like this on the sides on here you know just a little bit to kind of highlight a little bit <coughs> mm -hmm. oh, did you hear my oh I think the hobby is going for sweets again <laughs> stay away from the sweets Lucas <laughs> no way <laughs> he's doing it again He doesn't have a sweet tooth, uh, as they say here, but saying that, there are moments and days where he's gonna jump in and just eat f like sweets in one go for like 10 minutes. Stand there <laughs> in, the, in the pantry where we keep our sweets and extra foods and stuff, and he'd be chewing and eating, and he'd be looking around, um, he's gonna grab a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and... Yeah, I'm worse because I'm gonna take a whole packet and finish it. I'll be eating until I finish. He's not like that. He can grab and taste this and a little bit of that. So, yes. Actually, this project reminded me of one more project from all the days, which was also bubbles. I need to find it and maybe recreate it as well. By the way, I would love to hear what's your opinion about recreating old projects or uh, kind of reacting to my old videos is this something you actually would <clears throat> enjoy watching I wonder I was watching my own videos and the, how I looked you know with the dark hair and the first times when I was chatting to you and all the stress I had and all this it was just really interesting to see I have to say I don't do it often again but I, it happened that I just looked I think I was just trying to see <laughs> whether I was fatter or not <laughs> that's the the truth truth Um, <clears throat> just wanted to compare myself how I have changed in those few years <laughs> oh Marta 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 now I'm thinking that what we could do is get my black this is foodable and I'm thinking to kind of go around it and even more add the definition around those circles in places either everywhere or in places I don't know I'm not really but I'm not very precise here guys have a look I'm not precise but I am trying to kind of stand out my bubbles slightly more so that beautiful mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> there we go there we go I love 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 it 
I have to say what I love about it is that I lost my white space purposely, obviously that was the purpose of the whole project, but what I'm trying to say is that I have been playing with white space for a very long time, <coughs> recent months and years, uh, and always you have been even saying that, Marta, you always have this white space, how do you keep it white? You're balancing it right and it's just the composition wise. And you know, like, I, I actually enjoy having full color on the page right now. So that's interesting to see, isn't it? And maybe this project particularly will give me a push to go forward with my projects now and just maybe change a little bit. Because I think that 2020 for many people seems to be like a very special year. And I feel the same that this could be a very special year. Every year should be special, isn't it? But I think there's something special about that date, 2020. And for many people, I hear it is very special, so maybe some changes, maybe some more experiments, maybe trying to look for different styles of craft, especially that uh, it's very difficult to be unique these days, isn't it? <clears throat> and create things that nobody have created. <laughs> That's nearly impossible. You can have your own style and be very unique in your style, but hard to be unique and different these days, I'm sure a lot of you, a lot of us is trying to somehow those bubbles here are <laughs> giving me this difficult look of not being so much straight bubbles, that's okay <clears throat> uh huh, how is that? how is that? I think it looks gorgeous so I can even make it slightly darker, even darker on the place in the places so I like how the texture is kind of even more visible right now because of it you know so that's nice to see for sure it's nice to be able to have this depth and 3d feeling and getting extra texture from the modeling paste from stenciling, I like that. So yes, a little bit more abstract, <laughs> a little bit of um, different type of coloring, I love that, I like that actually, that I can just try different things. And that's a great start, I think, recreating my own project, that it was very much loved by you, so. Let me know if you watched the first project, please do, if you just watching it now or if you have seen it. I'll give you a link, of course I'll give you a link. <sighs> wow, our next step in the other video was that I was adding more stenciling, but what I wish to do now, I wish to kind of do an, something else. I'm gonna get my woody 3-in-1 Stabilo pencils and just get that white here even more, just a little bit. That's this waxy crayon in the pencil form. I've said about this many times now. Many of you have purchased it, so it's a great little tool. Okay, I like that. It is giving me just a little bit of more highlight of white in the places, which is great. And this waxiness of that crayon is also really nice. So, okay, now we need white pen. My next step is to use this one is oh yeah <laughs> it's Uniball Signo. I would like to do a little bit of a little bit of doodling. Let me just go around it and show you what I mean by that. I would like to create a little bit of movement of some kind of I don't know how to even say it and this is not two seconds not working the best maybe I can use it here mm -mm -mm. pigment where are you gone? are you gone? oh it's back on, back on again that should be fine now there we go so I just wish to kind of have like LinkedIn as if those are planets I'm not too sure if if you have the same feeling right now but I think it's like near like planets or like some 
somehow like electrical vibes oh electric electrical that's a great saying about the title for this project electrical page <laughs> isn't it I think so we can call it like that why not so I'm just going around a little bit in places and also this white is taken taken over by the pigment underneath it which is our magicals and the other pigments so of course don't be surprised that things are disappearing and that white becomes a different color that's okay hopefully somewhat some something will stay still and you know will it will be visible mm -hmm. so a little bit of doodling guys why not back to all the days which I totally love mm-hmm that's so awesome <laughs> I think I hope you can see that those lines in the camera because I do see them I do see them if you're wondering yet again it's Uniball signal white pen it's indeed one of the best out there on the market so have a look for it if you need one <laughs> I love 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 it <laughs> wow <laughs> wow that is so cool that is actually so awesome gorgeous so page such a electrical vibe to it isn't it okay <laughs> it is just so nice to see something a little bit different what do you think I would love to hear your opinion right now in this moment which is hard <laughs> I can only imagine that you are actually enjoying it with me now that you are watching it loving it and maybe even crafting with me I would like that definitely it feels like planets being joined together and wow planets yeah wow we and we're not finished here guys no we're not no we are not as you can see a little bit of doodling is just fantastic just fantastic now the stencils are from marimismallart.com links are gonna be at the end of the video in the description box or just say marimismallart google it it will get you there you'll find it with no problems whoa 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 <laughs> this is very nice very special very different okay <laughs> wow I love it honestly wow okay now I'm thinking of some splashes just a little bit I'm gonna get my gesso closed because it's still open oh, get my gesso and this one is actually Arteza chalk marker which should be great for splashes so I'm gonna try that mm -hmm. one thing I, I may be not that much fan of is that I would like if you go like this it makes the circles bad oh you see I don't want the lines or I do <laughs> I'll see not too many lines no 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 what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna be I know what I will do I'm gonna get my this 
get some pigment out mm -hmm. and this way I can be more straight I think okay I think that's enough what we have there we need some title how about shine how about shine which must be somewhere readable shine let's see I'm not yet sticking it SH shine E mm -hmm. shine okay I could get some better E <laughs> shine I feel it's a little bit too small for for the for the project, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's enough. Or maybe I can ha have the stickers as well with it coming with it. Shine. That's lovely actually, but I'm not convinced because I tell you why because I don't want my bubbles to be covered I just love the bubble effect there but then <laughs> this is the brightest part oh I know what I may do I may add it here shine this one is bright part yeah actually mm -hmm. shine could be here indeed shine bright do we have bright? Shine bright like a star. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> Shine bright. Bright, why not? Shine bright. Brigt. 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 Shine bright. <laughs> I can move it from here to here. Shine bright. There we go. There we go. How is that now? Wow! Shine bright. I love, 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 love it. Now let's see if we need to go back with our white, but I don't. Maybe a little bit so it would be more visible, but no, I'm gonna leave it. I think it looks great just as it is without overdoing it, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Wow, shine bright. So here it is. I really hope I did the justice to my own project from four years ago. I'm pretty sure it's different actually, but uh, equally pretty I hope and most importantly inspirational for you guys. I hope you will try it for yourself, make some kind of electrical uh, sky, night sky, planet, uh, I love it, love it, love it. I have to think for some good title for a train bright. That's like a title, but kind of it reminds me of planet. So I think I'm gonna stick with that. I really, really hope you had a good time. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. That would be lovely. For products, please check the description box under the video and let me know if you would like to see more videos like that to recreate some special projects that you think should be recreated. Um, yes, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna let you go. I love you. But I have to go to edit this video so you can watch it. Yeah, a date, guys. We need a date. I don't know what date is today, and I'm not gonna find out from Lucas because he's not gonna say it to me. Uh, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Okay, so today is the. Now I know. <laughs> so today is the 13th of February. And if I'm correct, Lucas, you could actually knock. <laughs> I think it's third. 
No, tomorrow is not Valentine's. Saturday is Valentine's. So today is 12th. Lucas. No, 13th? Okay, he says it's <laughs> 13th. So tomorrow is Valentine's. Okay. <laughs> so 13th of February. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Okay. <laughs> Good to know, isn't it? I wish you a beautiful Valentine's Day and if you're staying on your own, which happens sometimes, that's fine. Get some uh, glass of wine for yourself, get some arty goodies and craft with me with one of my videos. Um, yes, till the next time, happy crafting, talk to you soon, bye! Oh yes, and don't forget to share this video with your friends, that would mean so much to me. Thank you, love you lots, but I have to go.